And we're back with Jet Force Gemini. Last time, we backtracked. We saved some tribals. We got an extension to our health bar. <clears throat> and, uh, we did more backtracking. Very productive. Yes. Oh no, I didn't wow. save the tribals in this area, even though I've already saved them once, so it doesn't matter. Let's go. Mark, be on the... Ready? We are assaulting the castle! We are crashing the castle! That is a cyborg drone up there. One of the hardest enemies to bring down. Don't just spray and pray, concentrate your fire! You know, doing this with my freaking left hand is pretty hard. Because my trigger hand is my right hand. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you don't really need the face buttons or anything. Why don't you just hold the owl? Oh, that, that was my bad. Uh, I was going to say, why don't you just, yeah, like, like that. Oh, much better. Oh, my aim's suffering now, though. A little bit, since I'm still not used to the N64 controller. You know, you know what, you know what I mean. Well, yeah, I, I know. You know what? After years of playing the system, I don't think anybody's used to the damn thing. Uh, let alone using the right hand with the analog. Okay, my aimer is well, the one with the lines attached to it. So I actually want to try to snipe at least one of these guys. Okay, there's two of them on the screen. Yep, got both of them. Nice shooting. Seriously, nice shooting. Yay! <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice shooting, Tex! This is kind of like on-rails shooter, but someone else is controlling it. <laughs> yes, I control your rails. You are my rail gunner. Wait, what? I feel like I should have another extension of my health. I think there is one in there. <laughs> I just told Chelsea about uh, Sony's stupid book. And she's like, oh, Sony, Sony, Sony. Get that guy! Get him! Get him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him there to death! Get the airborne ones. Yes, even when I'm running towards the screen, you stay fixed on what's forward. So... I'm killing stuff! Yes. I can be running away from enemies, and you can be killing them behind my back. I'm actually glad I'm doing the co-op with you. And not someone else because you know you've got more of a cooperative spirit than a lot of other gamers these days. Holy crap, that guy went down fast. I mean, he's not a cyborg drone, but dang, I did not expect. I wasn't even firing that fast either. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Just be careful. There are tribals around here. Well, get the airborne ones. I'll take care of the land-based guys. I thought you died for a second. Keep going. Can't uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's that's my bad. Stupid airborne ones. Yeah, I just got one. That's kind of why I'm telling you to get the airborne ones. They are sometimes harder to hit because of how they bob and weave up and down. Since you don't have to worry about ammo, you can just keep firing until you hit something. Get the airborne guys. Oh. I I'm sorry, but these guys are, like, behind us. Yes. I feel like... As long as you don't accidentally kill any tribals, 
some of these areas will go a lot faster now. Now that we can either concentrate our attacks on the one enemy and kill it faster, or divide our attacks and kill more enemies. Going in here. Up. Stay on the stay on the trigger. Enemies can just pop out at any corner at any given time. Coincidentally, I think my last uh, Gemini increase thingy is in here. Oh good, there's only six tribals. But that also means... well... I'm trying to avoid using explosives right now. Okay, he's dead. Ah, there's a tribal in that. Okay. As long Careful. As you don't accidentally pull my aim over to it. Well, I, I'm going to rescue them. Now, now, unleash your. Oh, see, sorry, sorry, sorry. I went into aiming mode and forgot how it turns the camera. I really wish I had gone back for shurikens right about now. Yes. Yes, we got him through the cracks in his armor. Well, not really armor, but you know. I hope you're gonna you're keeping track of the time as well as I am because now we're both playing. Yeah, well, we're six minutes in. Oh, oh, tribal, tribal, tribal! Stand down, soldier. Okay, resume operation. Kill everything in sight. All right, get that sniper up there. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting you can't put a leader aimer all the way over. If, you know, again, if they re-release this on Xbox Live, that is something I would like to see fixed! Can't see! Oh, whoa, there's a tribal over there! I was having trouble, too. It's like I was being bombed from somewhere I couldn't see off screen and then uh, I think the last tribal is somewhere in this area keep help me keep an eye out for him. hey look mr. pants <laughs> ah there he is there he is okay now I can shoot everything <laughs> this life for okay good uh we got time for the balls for this episode we, we definitely have time for the balls for this episode okay ah full health gemini and maximum capacity crates we'll especially have time because you will be helping me kill him so he's right up ahead yep let's do it but first a cutscene from our sponsors <laughs> No, we don't really have sponsors. We're not that awesome. I wish we were that awesome. Some other people are that awesome. Why can't we be that awesome? And what a surprise. It's a giant bug thing. Homing rockets and Floyd will be very handy here. Also, the machine gun will do in times of need. I'm starting to get used to hold it using the analog with my right hand. Think of it as using the touchscreen with your 3DS when playing Kid Icarus Uprising with the thumb strap thingy that came with the original DS. I don't remember that thing. Am I like the only one who ever used it? <laughs> Seriously. I only use it for Kid Icarus. <laughs> oh. Oh, what am I supposed to shoot? See the, uh... Oh. I almost forgot something. These boss fights are like sin and punishment. I... And kind of stuck here. So you're almost on my level. Yeah. Wow. Um. Anyways, see those mandibles at the bottom? Okay. One will glow. One will kind of sparkle a little bit. It's hard to see on this HD TV. And uh, but it'll wiggle it around. Shoot that. 
Okay, now we've got the antennas to shoot. At least I think we have the antennas. My, my thing goes red when I aim at them. You, you gotta wait um, at a, to a certain point. Yo, now it's vulnerable. Okay, shoot him in the face. Just shoot him in the face. No other strategy here, just shoot him in the face. And he's done. He groans, he groans, he groans. And then his entire face explodes. <laughs> well, starting with that part. Come on. Lord. And off with his head. By the way, some pretty impressive graphics on the uh, shell there for N64. And we get Star Wars level shockwaves. I gotta take a sip of water. Juno you know, just decides to run for it because he remembers cockroaches can live a week without their head. Splatter. House. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not playing that game. Splatter House. <laughs> and, I, and I don't mean we're not playing Splatter House, but... Okay, I just ruined the double pun there. So, uh, now what? Now we uh, hop in our spaceship and go from Mazar's Palace. But before we do that, We're not, we're not going to do Mizar's Palace just yet, not as Juno anyways. Because you see, Mizar's Palace, all three characters have their own path through it. So we're not going to do Mizar's Palace till everyone's actually up there. However, there is something I do want to go back to Goldwood for, just very momentarily before we end this episode. something I could have backtracked for while we were actually there with Juno, but I didn't feel like it at the time. Now I kind of slap myself in the head and tell myself I was an idiot. But, I don't know, maybe it's for the best. Speaking of backtracking, all you gotta do if you want to revisit any of these lovely levels and planets, you just select your galactic map here and choose your destination, press the A button, and off you go. And here we have more unskippable landing cut. Oh my scenes. gosh, rare! What the fuck? Sorry about that, people. Yet again, another reason why it should be re-released on Xbox Live Arcade. They could make these skippable. A lot of reasons for them to re-release this game. This is a great game. It's got, you know. It's got flaws in it, several to be in fact, but, you know, every game's got their flaws. A lot of the ones that this game has are really, I think, more due to the time it came out. But, uh, you know, it's just like... And we got plenty of time to grab this because this thing here is, is just right in the store. But, uh, be ready to shoot. Okay, he's dead. Uh, where is that? Oh, here it is. And Juno becomes a space ninja with the shuriken, which has a lock-on homing feature. And you remember those enemies we were fighting with the uh, large barricade shields? It'll cut right through their shields. Wow. Pretty nice. Alright, that's the end of this episode.